Yo, what's good, y'all? In today's video, I just got a really good video here. It's my first type of matchmaking system video. This video was requested to me by Gifty Off at Mentoric PL. Their idea was the matchmaking system when someone joins somewhere. Um, there's a label that says waiting for a second player, and then um, when the second person joins, it'll say teleporting, and it'll teleport both the players to a map. When one of the players dies, it teleports everyone back to the back to the main experience. Okay, all right. Now I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Actually, we read that suggestion. I'm not gonna lie. I only actually like I pre did like obviously like I already like figured out how to do this and stuff i only I only did like the first half like actually like typed it out and stuff and and like we'll say uh did it already prior to the video but the second half we're, we're gonna wing it but anyway no matter but yeah let's get into it though okay so first things first if if your concept is like the same as this person where you want it to be like a server where people join and only two people can join First things first, you have to go to game settings, then, uh, I know you guys can't see the screen right now, but you will go to places, then click whatever place, your main place, then configure the place, and then change the max amount of players, and don't forget to click save, and stuff, so you would just set that to two if that's what you want, right? So we're going to head on over to service script service, we're going to enter a service script, right? We can go ahead and call this our matchmaking, matchmaking script, right? And then what we can go ahead and do is create a table. We can do local. So we'll say uh we'll say just local players is equal to and then special bags, right? This is a table, right? And then we will also do local map ID. This is where you're pretty much teleporting to that the players to, I guess you could say to fight. I guess you could say. And then we could go ahead and click view, open the asset manager, open places, and then get our ID. So copy ID to clipboard and boom. Right, and what we can do is we can do game dot players dot player added colon connect function in parentheses put PLR which is short for player then enter. We will then do if table dot get n. Wait, if table dot get n players. I'm sorry, not players. Well, actually, yeah, no, it's players. If table dot get n is equal to two, right? We pretty much just saying what's it called? Well, actually, oh sorry, hold on. Actually, sorry guys, we actually forgot to add. We actually forgot to add this. So we're gonna do table dot insert. We'll put the table players, then the value, and we can go ahead and do table dot get n players. Then do, then go on the outside and do plus one, right? And pretty much what this is saying is this is changing the um the amount of uh elements in the table and stuff. So we're adding plus one for each player, so total two players, right? So then it'll then check to see if that number is then equal to two. And if it is equal to two, it will then, oh, we have to also go to teleport service, press enter, local TPS is equal to game, get service, teleport service, right? And so, if, so if it is equal to two, we will then do TPS, teleport, uh, I believe it's async. Yeah, or we could do a teleport party. It doesn't matter. Anyway, let's do teleport async, right? And we can go ahead and do map ID. We can go ahead and do game dot players get children comma and then now I just want to clarify I did not test this I think this will work if it does not if it does not um I will go ahead and you guys let me know in the comments I will go ahead and make sure to test this and uh, I will have the working script in the in the uh the uh, the description if anything I might just remake the video if that's the case but anyway right. So, so if this is the case, right? So pretty much, if it's two players, then it'll it'll teleport them, right? Then we also need a function that says game that players that remove, right? Because we need it to remove the the players, right? So we can just paste this. We can delete the um if table that I get into, right? We can do player removing, right? And then we would do minus one, right? 
because we're changing the amount that the table has, right? And this that's pretty simple. That's pretty simple, right? So then we would need to work on our GUI now. Let's go ahead and add the GUI. Let's go ahead and over to stutter GUI, insert a screen GUI, and let's name this. Uh, okay, let's call it status GUI because it's the status of the matchmaking. All right. Once you're a text label, you could really just uh, you would just leave it here, I guess. Then just name it status text label. Make the text blank. You leave it blank. Bold scaled. All right. And then what we can say is is when the player joins, we can we can really just say actually no, we could really just default it to say uh waiting on second player, waiting on second player. Yeah. And then when and then and then if, if this is the case, we can then do player Mm, actually, we could really do. We could use a four IV in Paris loop for this. Not gonna lie, we could do four IV in Paris to change all theirs. Game dot players get children. Then do, then do v dot player gui dot status gui dot status text label dot text is equal to teleporting to map. Or arena, well, yeah, it's whatever, so yeah, right. And then, um, pretty much, yeah, that's. And then, well, actually, we can have, we could also put this over here, right? Just to make sure, just so that it just knows. Oh, sorry, teleporting to map, teleporting to map. And we just make sure that this says, um, waiting on second player, waiting on second player. And yeah there we go um and then yeah pretty much you're done here but keep in mind this is just the main place there's a little bit of scripting that needs to be done on the other place so let's go ahead back to the uh asset manager and let's open up our second place right you can just double click on that and it will open a second place i will go ahead and close my main place all right, go ahead and close the main place so you guys should be able to see the screen. I don't think y'all can see the screen. Let's see. Let's, okay, there you go. There you go. All right. So, yes, we are now in the second place. So, now for the second part, right? We now have to have it to where when the players teleport here, because this is where they're coming, right? When they teleport here, we need it to detect um, when they die, which is actually, it's honestly simple because it's actually a built in function, right? So, what we can do is we can go, oh, there's a script. Oh. Oh, it's from it's actually from one of my um I don't I forgot what this is for. This is from a while ago. We can just delete this though. Anyway, don't worry about that. Let me make sure I don't have anything else here that okay. We should be good. Uh okay. Anyway. So yeah. So we can pretty much get our local map ID. We can same thing, same concept, but except you choose where you want to send them back to. Now obviously you wouldn't obviously send them back to the place where like you match make well unless your game is like that but usually you would have like a lobby of people and then people decide if they want to match make but the, but just for the sake of the video i'm just going to give you guys an example just gonna use this as an example right we'll have the we'll have it there the local tps is like before game gets game gets service teleport service right and then we can go ahead and do if i remember correctly because i haven't used this in a while we could just do game.players.player added connect function we can do dlr and do player dot character. Now I believe it's player dot character dot died. If I remember correctly, I believe it's the function and close parentheses. And then pretty much when the player dies, um, then it teleports everyone back to the main experience. So then we can just get all of the. Actually, no, we can really just do TPS teleport async just like before. Teleport async. Yeah, sorry guys. I like I literally am doing this as like as we go. But anyway, game the players get children and uh, yeah, that's pretty much. It. I don't think we need a teleport option. I don't. Yeah, I don't think we need that. But anyway, but yeah, uh, we go ahead and test the main thing. Oh, we, we can name the script um death teleporter script. 
we can go ahead and test. I just want to test the one thing to make sure that this is exactly this is correctly how you identify if a person dies. I don't think, okay, so that okay, so it's not okay. Okay, player dot character dot index now. Oh, sorry guys, sorry. Of course, we have to do player dot character added. Yes, connect function. Okay, okay. Sorry guys, I should have obviously known that. We obviously have to. We can't have a function where it relies on something that obviously like takes time to load. So let's see. Die is not a member of model. It must be the humanoid. Okay. Yeah, it's the humanoid then. Alrighty. I'm like, it's either the character or the humanoid. I did I could not remember to be honest with y'all. Okay. Considering we have no errors and then if I reset my character, there we go. Okay, there we go. Obviously it'll fail since as you all should know, you cannot teleport with Mystique though. But yes though. There you go. And stuff. So yeah, um what's it called? Gift off. I hope this video was helpful. Um and helpful anyone else who wanted to make a little quick two player matchmaking system. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. Join the Discord down below. Hello people actually been joining. We're about to hit 60 members and shit. Yeah. You guys should join, subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys. And I'll see you guys.